Fearless Australian Chloe McArdle has been marathon swimming since she was a girl. This was her crossing the English Channel last year. She's done that swim so often it's become almost routine. But now she's taking on her biggest challenge, hoping to be the first person ever to swim more than 100 treacherous miles from Cuba to the USA without a shark cage. So why would anyone want to attempt such a challenging journey? First of all is the record. This swim is 50% further than any person has successfully swum between two points of land in the ocean. My mum had breast cancer when I was 14 and I'm doing this for people who are living with cancer and those in the future who may have cancer. Chloe will leave Havana in Cuba and swim 103 miles, that's 166 kilometres, across the Florida Straits to Florida Keys. To set the record, she must stay in the water the whole time, where she'll have to dodge great white sharks as well as poisonous jellyfish. The area is also known for its strong currents. Fellow Australian Susie Moroni completed the swim in 1997, but she had a shark cage, although it didn't keep out those jellyfish. Others, like American Diana Nyad, had to quit halfway through. As well as the physical gap, Chloe hopes to help bridge the political divide between Cuba and the States. Chloe is more used to swimming in the comparatively safe waters off Bondi Beach. This latest dip in the ocean will take around 60 hours and will test her to the absolute limit. Jonathan Samuels, Sky News, Sydney.